Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and today's video is that monthly 2021 Advent Calendar Panning Project update. And so I've been working on some products, and as all the they're getting used up, then I'm rolling in new ones. So anyway, the idea behind this uh, collab was started by Elin, and I will link her channel down below. There's some other ladies that are also involved, and if you follow the hashtag that I leave in the description, you can uh, find their channels. And so it's uh, hashtag 2021 Advent Calendar Update. So we do a monthly update, and we show you, you know, the idea was to take 12 samples or smaller sized um, you know products that you wanted to use up during the course of the year and then um, there was some some of them had like a little advent calendar um, box you know where they could open up the drawers and so anyway um, some of them did 12 but I did the 25 and so Anyhow, I have used up a bunch of stuff, but I've also rolled in new ones, so I'm just like continuing on here just to kind of keep the motivation going. It seems like when I have more in front of me to use up that, that um, you know, motivates me to keep going. And, you know, if I only had two or three products in front of me, um, you know, I would find that kind of uh, non-challenging. So anyway, let's get on with this. I have been using, let's start with this uh, Andalou Naturals. Um, I have the Night Repair Cream and the, uh, like a Goji Peptide Perfecting Cream. I finished the Night Cream, so I rolled that out. And I decided to roll in, in its place, the Fruit Enzyme Mask. And so now I'm using it to go along with um, those those two items right there. Um, I used up a couple of samples from my travel bag. I had an anti-frizz sheet and a Germex hand towel, and I used those on a weekend little trip. And so those these three things are the bulk of my empties. So, but I have some things that are really, really close to being empty. And so one of them is this uh, Mario Badescu facial spray. The one that's green has aloe in it. There's, there may be one or two more uses in that. I thought I would finish it by now, but uh, anyway, let's just put some on. <laughs> I just got out the shower. And uh, so anyhow, but as soon as that rolls out, I'm rolling in this one, the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water, which is like two-thirds full. So, we have a replacement ready to go there. I've also been trying to use up this Mario Badescu um, Hydro Vitamin C. It's a moisturizer with vitamin C, and I'm like down to the last little bit. So anyway, hopefully by the next update, I will have that used up for you as well. Okay, then uh, from the Lue by Jean Co, the Balance Hydrating and Calming Serum. I'm about halfway finished with that now, so I'm making progress. So let's just put some of that on. Just do a little trial style here. Since I need to do some skin care, I just got out of the shower and so I thought while well, I would use some of this stuff as we go. Okay, and then I have um, the eye cream, the Oil of Olay Pro Retinol Treatment Eye Cream. And I used up the other one from last month and I think I mentioned that in last month's video. So anyway, this is the second one of these that I've been using. So anyhow, let's just put on a little eye cream. I love this stuff. It's so easy to use and it's so effective. And if I don't, like if I go a week without using it at all and using something else in place of it, I can tell a difference. So this is not the kind of, this is not your average eye cream. And this is so affordable. You can get it at Walmart or any drugstore. Alright, and I was digging through some stuff and I found 
this one from Dr. Lily Fan. It's just a little eye cream. So I carried it with me when we were traveling. And you can see here, I've just got this tiniest little smidge left in it. So I've been using it too. So. And then I've got this lip balm here from Hanalei lip balm it's the island mint I love this stuff and but it takes forever to use up a lip balm at least for me it does I don't know about you guys sometimes I keep lip balms like the whole entire year you know it just seems like it takes forever okay I'm gonna go in with some of this uh, moisturizer from Mario Badescu this vitamin C and it doesn't take much at all it's kind of thin and um, and so it spreads far so it's not like the kind of product that you know it takes a lot of so anyway that's one of the reasons why it's taken me forever to use up this last little bit but it's down here it's way down here now so I don't like much getting that finished all right so let's see here we had the lxmi pure not nilotica melt which i'll be honest with you guys i have not used this at all this stuff is so thick and rich that it serves me better in the winter time you know especially for the you know the dry skin months and around the edges of my face you know where i get the driest like right through here and so anyhow i did not use that at all this month but i am working on it and there is a replacement for it when I get through. So we'll see where I'm at with that next month. Then um, I was using some, as far as um, retinoid serum, I have this Grand Active Retinoid 5% in Squalene from The Ordinary. And this is another one of those products, y'all. It doesn't take a whole lot. But anyway, it's like an oil. And I'm way down to here. I do not like much on this at all. So, of course, I don't put retinoids on whenever I'm using vitamin C. And so it's either one or the other. I mean, I probably could, but anyway, I'll just try to keep it simple. All right, and then the other product from The Ordinary is the Caffeine Solution, 5%, which I use this for the under eyes. It's like a gel, and uh, I am way down. I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but it's, it's I'm right there. I, it's like one, it's down to like one-fourth. So anyway, I'm working on it. So that's where I'm at on that. And then I have uh, this dry conditioner, Instant Moisture. It's called Waterless. And I've been using this off and on. I've got maybe a half a can left on it. Um, here is a product that I love. And I'm almost out of this because I use it like every time I shampoo. It's called the Caviar anti-aging replenishing moisture CC cream it's a 10 in 1 um, complete correction leave-in conditioner for your hair I love this stuff it is amazing and this comes from the UK I think it came in a look fantastic box or something anyway I'm gonna have to look into buying this because my hair loves this stuff so anyway I'm down I'm way down on this I mean I probably that'll probably empty for next month here is another uh, cream it's a coconut oil gel it's like a, a hair glaze but it's more uh, rich and more moisturizing for your hair and I just use this like in the ends of my hair like the bottom four or five inches my hair is really long it's almost it's like you know it's almost to my waist and so I just use it like on the bottom you know like four or five inches of my hair because if I if I get it up towards the roots then it's so rich that it makes my hair it weighs my hair down and it makes it um, 
have to wash it more often because it makes it look oily but it's great for the dry ends so but I don't use this as often as I do the other hair cream and so anyway as a result this is still got quite a bit left in it it's uh, practically full so anyway but I have it in the project so I want to try and use it if I can and then I'm using this little sample of a sunscreen the La Roche Posay 50 for your face SPF 50 so on those days when I'm gonna be outside you know I'll use that if I'm inside you know when I've got something that I can put on like SPF 30 or something that's in like a BB cream or a CC cream I'll just use that instead the perfume sample that I'm currently working on is this one from Valentino I received this recently um, not sure where it came from in an order or could have been from Sephora or someplace but anyway I've used about maybe half of that it don't take long to use one of these up because I'll you know put four or five sprays on and then but I love this stuff it smells so good I'm gonna have to look into my scent bird and see if I can get this through scent bird all right, and then just a couple of other things that I rolled into the project. Um, this tooth whitening pen, I haven't been diligent. This is from Smile Sciences. I have two of these, but anyway, I haven't been diligent like I need to, but I do notice a difference in my teeth when I do use them. So I've been using like a charcoal toothpaste, and then I put this on afterwards, and it really helps, you know, get the coffee stains and stuff off my teeth. So I like it. And then a product from Acure, it's the Resurfacing Overnight Glycolic Treatment. Um, last month I said I thought I would use this up, but I've only used it a couple of times, and so I'm still like right there at the end. And it, it doesn't take much. I mean, it's like, you know, the size of your fingernail or less, you know, and that's enough for a whole face. And anyway, I like it. I like this brand. Moonstone, True Unicorn Root, Glycolic, and Lactic Acid to resurface, refine, and hydrate for all skin types. It's very good. So anyway, when I get through using that one, I'm going to roll in this Acure Hydrating, Ultra Hydrating 12-Hour Facial Moisturizer. So, there we go. There's my update for the month of uh, June. And uh, so anyway, I will um, be watching for everyone else's videos that's in this collab. I'm not sure how many ladies are involved. There's some that are over on Instagram as well. Anyway, Elin has um, all the information about who all's participating. And so anyway, uh, if you head over to her video, you know, you can connect with all the others. If you're into panning projects, this is my very first panning project, but I feel like I'm doing really good. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot about myself. And uh, so anyway, I'm just trying my best to be diligent and not to stray, you know. Of course, I'm using other things as well, but I don't want to forget about this stuff and not use it, you know. So anyhow, but anyway, only three empties this time for me and these two weren't even a part of the project they were just some little samples that I used up so I thought I would make a an honorable mention because it you know the whole idea behind this painting project is to use up samples so anyway that's it for me today you guys um, I love you all thank you so much for watching be sure to check out the other ladies and God bless you today is my prayer we'll see you in the next one bye